watched this whole video, half the video, or just two seconds of the video, well, that's just up for you to decide. I really hope you watch the whole thing because I bet you a lot of money that you're going to learn something new from this video and find it pretty informative. So we're going to talk about Grand Theft Auto 6, a release date prediction, and we're going to take a look at one of the possible first GTA 6 characters and maybe even GTA 6 protagonists. So uh, if you learn something new or just find it informative, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I want to give you a TLDW too long didn't watch. Basically, if Grand Theft Auto 6 is announced by the end of 2019, which I'm saying there's like a 4 out of 10 chance of this happening, well, it'll release in late 2021 or early 2022. If GTA 6 is announced in quarter one, which would be anywhere between January and May, I would say, of 2020, well, it'll be rela released in late 2022 and early 2023. So this information that I'm going to go over today goes way back to April 2009. And what we're doing is to accurately predict when GTA 6 is going to release. We're going to take a look at when GTA 5 first started development, which was in April 2009, so over 10 years ago now, and we're using all of this knowledge to, like I said, accurately predict, for the most part, when Grand Theft Auto 6 will release. Now, this isn't official information because it's not from Rockstar Games or Take-Two Interactive, but this is information from their past history and what they have done with their games, what they've said, which really hasn't been much. So yes, we are speculating here, but what we're doing is using reputable sources and people from inside of Rockstar Games to speculate responsibly here. Now, I did find out most of this information from the GTA forums, and it is a very long detailed post from Lynn LFC, and he does <laughs> he does make sure to emphasize speculate responsibly, which I am on par with. I like to consider myself a hub of uh, truth when it comes to these type of videos. I'm not going to promote things that are false, like, hey, GTA 6 is releasing in 2019. I got this from TheOnion.com. No, we're actually using reputable sources to accurately, or for the most part, accurately try to predict this. And if you want to read all of this, you can find the link to that in the description down below. But going all the way back to April 20th, 2009, that is when the first ever build for GTA 5 was created. Now, this is April 2009. Rockstar at this time was busy working on The Ballad of Gay Tony because at this point, The Lost and Damned had released in February and Chinatown Wars released in March. So... Rockstar is working on the Lost and or the Ballad of Gay Tony at this point. Now, this build log was actually discovered in 2014, but it dates all the way back to 2009, and this is the earliest that we know of GTA 5 existing. And we'll get back to that in just a moment. So, the earliest rumors of Grand Theft Auto 5 began on July 26th, 2010. With reports of Rockstar searching for locations in and around Hollywood, California, for their next title, and Rockstar actually declined commenting on this when asked about it, and they stated that we don't comment on rumors and speculation, so good guy Rockstar right there, never giving us what we want to know, but it's a good thing because they always deliver. So, in February 2011, on the 25th, a domain leaked, or a, a leak of website domains for in-game websites were claimed, and this leak came out, and there were... Well, there were a couple very interesting leaks or domains that I'm sure you're very familiar with. CashForDeadDreams.com, SixFigureTemps.com, StopPayingYourMortgage.com, and LifeInvader.com. So, in February 2011, when these came out, we knew it was for a Rockstar game, but we had to think back. Bully didn't have websites in-game, and GTA 4 is where websites were debuted in Rockstar games. So, it made us think. Well, this must be for the next Grand Theft Auto or Rockstar title, which it did turn out to be true because all of these domains are actually in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, in March 2011, in this month, there were two casting calls. One was codenamed Rush, and they were both leaked online, and uh, it sounded like something out of a GTA game. And the other casting call was actually a private casting call for or from Take-Two Interactive, which is Rockstar Games' parent company. 
Now, we didn't get much in 2011 until October 5th of this year when Rockstar hosted an AMA. And, well, we had some fans ask, when are we going to see a new GTA? Hashtag best game ever. And when is the new Grand Theft Auto coming out? These were both on Twitter. And Rockstar replied saying, big, big shout out to all Grand Theft Auto fans worldwide who we know are anxious to hear about what's next for the franchise, but we don't have any news at this time. All we can say is, right now, we're focused on our next upcoming releases, which are Max Payne 3, as well as L.A. Noir for the PC, Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition, and Max Payne for mobile devices. When and if we have anything to report regarding the new Grand Theft Auto franchise, you know that we'll do so here at the Newswire, or on our Twitter, or Facebook. And then it happened on October 25th, 2011. Rockstar Games announced Grand Theft Auto 5 officially by updating their website with an image of the Grand Theft Auto 5 logo. I remember seeing this and thinking, oh my god, it's real. And uh, it, there was no better feeling. And then just two weeks later on November 4th, 2011, the first official GTA 5 trailer debuted, and I remember exactly what I was doing when this happened. I was playing Saints Row 2, because Saints Row 2 is an amazing game, and there was actually a small earthquake where I live, and I live in Oklahoma, so that was kind of odd. But we got the Grand Theft Auto 5 trailer, and I remember just thinking to myself, oh my god, I couldn't imagine. We're coming from GTA 4, a game where we're in big city New York. And I couldn't imagine mountains being in GTA and high-definition, realistic graphics. I just couldn't picture it. And flying airplanes, I was so excited. And then almost one year and ten months later, in September 2013, GTA 5 officially released. Now, we know that because of GTA Online's massive success, this has allowed Rockstar to not release games as often as they used to. Don't believe me? Here's a timeline I showed in a video the other day of Rockstar Games and all of their releases. Believe it or not, we used to get multiple games per year from Rockstar Games, but because of GTA Online's massive success, which is a blessing and a curse, Rockstar is able to work together versus on separate teams like Rockstar North, who worked on Grand Theft Auto, and Rockstar San Diego, who works on Red Dead Redemption. They're actually working all together as one big happy family now, which is fine because look at the masterpiece that is Red Dead Redemption 2 that we got in 2018. If that's what we can expect from here on out, well, GTA Online, keep doing your thing. So, in January 2014, as I mentioned earlier, the build logs for GTA 5 dating back to 2009. Well, in January 2014, that's when these build logs were discovered on the game's disc, hidden deep within the game's files. And this gave us an idea on when GTA 5's development began. This also allows us to have an idea on when their next project will begin, which would probably have been during spring 2014. But also throughout 2014, Rockstar was working on the PC, PS4, and Xbox versions of GTA 5, which would delay their next title. Now, in January 2016, something very crucial happened in the Rockstar Studios, which was not good. Leslie Benzies, president of Rockstar Games, left Rockstar North. Now, this could have delayed Rockstar's plans as a lot of staff actually left with Leslie Benzies. There was a lot of shady stuff and lawsuits going on that I think probably would have pushed back their next title or project, aside from Red Dead Redemption 2, that they could have been working on. And as of April 2015, with the release of GTA 5 on the PC, Rockstar was now done with development of Grand Theft Auto 5 outside of online updates. Now, now that we got Grand Theft Auto 5 out the way, let's talk about Red Dead Redemption 2. So, in September 2014, Rockstar San Diego, who worked on Red Dead Redemption 1, started hiring for next-gen consoles and for an upcoming project that would later become Red Dead Redemption 2. In December 2014, actor Jorge Consejo posted an Instagram selfie in a mocap suit with a couple hashtags relating to GTA 6 and just some very interesting things. And then, almost a year later, we didn't hear anything, but it wasn't until November 29th, 2015 that an ex-Rockstar Games employee hinted that Red Dead Redemption 2 is Rockstar Games' next project when he was asked a question regarding what is Rockstar Games' next project on Reddit, and he replied with, Really? 
dumbass really too and this hit the headlines and blew up because rdr2 he pretty much confirmed it right there then on april 13th 2016 the red dead redemption 2 map leaked this was six months before rdr2 was announced and this is the first time that this has ever really happened with the rockstar game and it turned out it was 100 percent real so that was crazy, crazy times. Then on October 18th, 2016, Red Dead Redemption 2 was officially announced. And it seems like so long ago. That's crazy. So on December 25th, 2017, over a year later now, actor Jorge Canseo, who we talked about before posting an Instagram selfie in a mocap suit, listed on his resume Grand Theft Auto VI CGI 2018. And he was listed as the Mexican. <laughs> so, on April 18th, 2018, this was actually removed from his resume, but someone actually saved this for proof, and we still have that proof right here, which is interesting. So, that pretty much right there confirms it to be true, I would say, because also in November 2018, Rockstar sued Trusted Reviews for £1 million for this alleged leak of this resume with the CGI for GTA 6. Pretty much proving it to be true. Now, in February 2019, another longtime Rockstar Games veteran left the company, and that was VP of Product Development, Geronimo Barrera. And he departed from Rockstar Games after 20 years. And he said that if I had stayed at Rockstar, it would have been more RDRs and GTAs and less of this other stuff that's going on. And uh, that's interesting. It doesn't really mean too much, I guess you could say. Maybe they're, he's just talking about online, but still very interesting. Well, in April 2019, another former Rockstar Games employee mentioned creating vehicles for GTA 5 and GTA 6 in his art station resume. And, well, the last real kind of leak that we have for GTA 6 comes from July 2019. Once again, from Jorge Canseo. And somebody tweeted him on Twitter and said, Nobody will read this tweet, but you heard it here first. Jorge Canseo is in GTA 6. And he quoted that tweet by saying, I can neither confirm nor deny this, but I did read your tweet. And 99% of the time when somebody says, I can neither confirm nor deny this, well, it's real. And he go, this goes way back to 2000. 15 or 14 excuse me with Jorge Canseo being in a mocap suit posting that listing GTA 6 on his resume removing that then the site getting sued for posting that there's too much fishy business going on here for this to be fake it makes you wonder will Jorge Canseo be an antagonist protagonist just a random character side character a guy we do missions for who knows but being that this man has <clears throat> origins uh, Mexican origins and and He's from Mexico. The leaks of GTA 6 Project Americas that we've gotten taking place in uh, Brazil and being drug runners and all that, it kind of like coincides with one another, and I almost believe that. And, and it makes you wonder, like, just who will he be in game? And we'll look back on this video. Actually, probably nobody will, but I'll remember in a couple years and say, wow, so he was the main antagonist of the game or anything like that. So with all the information that I've provided to you, we can actually use this to speculate. And like I said at the beginning of the video with GTA 6 and its release date, if it's not announced by the end of 2019 or early 2020, we won't be seeing it until 2023 because Rockstar seems to have this pattern here. And basically their pattern is once they finish their game, whatever their current title is, GTA 4, about a year and a half later, they start on, or a year later, they start on their next title. Well, two years later, they start hiring actors. And then two years after that, the game releases. We see that with GTA 5, GT, or Red Dead Redemption 2, which Rockstar started hiring for in 2014. And then in 2016, the game was announced. And then in 2018, it released. So uh, it's very interesting how Rockstar Games works. And with GTA 5's development apparently starting in April 2009, and them hiring actors in 2011-ish. And then the game releasing 
and being announced in 2011 and then releasing in 2013, it all makes sense. So I'm betting that by the end of 2019, we're going to hear and see a release of or a confirmation of RDR2 on the PC. By quarter one of 2020, we'll have a GTA 6 announcement. By 2022, whether it's middle or the end of the year, we will have Grand Theft Auto 6. It's a long time away, but hopefully time flies, and hopefully you guys are still around years from now on the channel. So, anyways, I just thought this would be really cool to talk about, show y'all all this information. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and with that said, I'm Zach Cox. Thank y'all for tuning in, and uh, as always, hope to see you in the next video.